in eight oh. different... 2003 was dominated by one major news event, the war in Iraq. And in March, the U.S.-led coalition launched Operation Iraqi Freedom. Then, less than three weeks after the fighting started, Saddam Hussein's statue came tumbling down. In May, President Bush flew to the USS Abraham Lincoln to declare an end to the major combat operations, but attacks continue against coalition forces. In December, U.S. forces got a tip that paid off in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Saddam Hussein was found hiding in a hole. Good riddance. The biggest political drama of the year played out in California. Voters said yes to the recall of Democratic Governor Gray Davis. Congratulations, Governor Schwarzenegger. Republican action hero Arnold Schwarzenegger won the 135-way race to succeed him. 2003 saw its share of tragedy. We lost the space shuttle Columbia in February, along with its seven-member crew. Southern California seemed to be going up in flames this fall. At least 22 people lost their lives. Then, about two months later, Christmas Day, mudslides hit the same area, killing a group of people celebrating the holiday at a campground. A rock band's indoor pyrotechnics set fire to a nightclub in Rhode Island. 100 people died in the fire. At a Chicago nightclub, security guards used pepper spray to break up a fight. The crowd panicked and stampeded towards the door. 21 people were killed. Crime stories captured headlines in 2003. The year began with the search for Lacey Peterson. Her body and the body of her unborn son were found in April. Her husband, Scott, has been charged with murder. He has pleaded not guilty. Two suspects in the Washington, D.C. sniper case were brought to justice. John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo have been convicted of murder. L.A. Lakers star Kobe Bryant, charged with sexually assaulting a woman who worked at this resort in Colorado, he denies the charges. And Michael Jackson was accused of seven counts of child molestation. The medical world got a new acronym. SARS. It spread to two dozen countries and claimed almost 800 lives. Pope John Paul II celebrated his Silver Jubilee and beatified Mother Teresa, taking her one step closer to sainthood. A February blizzard buried cities from the Midwest to the East Coast. 42 deaths were blamed on the storm. Europe sweltered through the summer. An estimated 20,000 people died of heat-related problems. And 50 million people were in the dark when a massive blackout hit North America. Mad Cow hits the U.S. for the first time. A devastating quake in Iran, a magnitude 6.3, killing over 20,000 people as the city of Bam's mud and brick buildings collapse on residents. And another reminder that the war on terror is far from over. Tom Ridge raising the terror threat level to high on December 21st. And the major headline of the year, Saddam Hussein captured and in custody, ensuring that the man who led the news in 2003 will continue making headlines into the new year. Rick Fulber.